Welcome to today's video. Have you ever had a problem where you're like looking at your dog and saying, I want to take a photo of this cute puppy, but the lights go out and the dog is like, okay, well maybe you can still take a picture and then the right lights go really out. And as you can sort of see here, the iPhone is just not going to take a good photo using its normal imaging mode. So what you actually have to do is swipe up on photo mode and then you want to engage what's called night mode. And you can sort of see it in the bottom right corner. Um, you can pull it up and then you can expand the time it allows you to run. Now, the maximum time is up to 30 seconds. However, the phone, based on how much light is hitting the sensor, actually determines the time that it takes to take the photo. So in this case, it took a seven second photo. And as you can see here, the photo turned out really well, almost like there was actually light in the room. You can also apply this uh, to images like this picture of this moon, where you can sort of see here as it exposes over the longer uh, 30 second exposure time that it's actually going to uh, run through that whole gambit. And this actually works really well. Um, you definitely need to have it sitting on a tripod to do this but you do end up with a really nice moon image. Of course, you can combine the timer and the low light mode to be able to take selfies in the dark, like this one right here. And again, the phone is going to pick the maximum allowable time, which is 30 seconds. And as long as you stand still, it will keep exposing. Now, if you do actually move the camera, it's going to try to collect pixel imagery, but it's highly recommended that you stick it with a tripod when doing this because you will basically go for 30 seconds, but you only may get like five seconds worth of actual light footage uh, based on the camera pointing in the right direction. Now you can use this technique for things like light painting and whatever else. Just make sure that you don't have the light on when the camera's counting down. You have to wait until it actually takes the photo so that it doesn't adjust for the image. Now, of course, this system works really well when you have something interesting to take a picture of, such as this Christmas tree and this stone staircase. Or in the case of this picture here of the moon with some foreground trees and stuff, you can actually get a pretty decent image. Of course, realizing that this is about a 20 to 30 second exposure, it actually ends up turning out quite nice. Now, this wouldn't be an astronomy channel if I didn't try to take pictures of some stars with it. And while taking pictures of stars, and this is a particularly cloudy night, um, isn't the greatest and you're not going to get the best results, the stars actually end up turning out to be pretty round, which is surprising. Um, and it could give you a nice little star field image. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider giving it a like and a subscribe. And thank you for watching.